The Boy Next Door is directed by Rob Cohen and stars Jennifer Lopez as an English teacher who focuses on classical literature. Wrap your mind around that one because you're just going to have to get used to it. In this movie, her marriage is going through some problems. She has a son who's like the sweetest, kindest, most fake teenager I've ever seen. And a boy who moves in next door who's like, yeah, I'm almost 20. Like they make a huge point to be like, hey, this isn't creepy because he's almost 20. Did you hear us? He's, he's almost 20. Just want to make sure you knew that. And they have sex because Jennifer Lopez is attractive and he's attractive and they, they're like, hey, we're both attractive, so let's have sex. Whoops, he's a psychopath. He starts stalking her everywhere, writing graffiti, sending her photographs, all kinds of stuff. He's crazy. And she has to figure out how to save her marriage, her family, her job, everything. So it really just seems like Rob Cohen or the writer was just like coming up really fast, like, how do we make this? Like, what should we do? Oh man, we're running out of time and money. Let's just end it right here. And of course, it's gonna make a profit because Jennifer Lopez, I mean, any movie she's gonna be in is more than likely gonna open at more than four million just because she's Jennifer Lopez. This is a thing in studios now, guys. Okay, pay attention please to box office stuff. I've been told sometimes I pay attention too much to that But you got to realize this is what the studios are doing to us They're making movies for like nothing that they know will make a profit simply because of maybe one star or one particular Time period the films released like the first weekend of Halloween or something And they want to make a profit. They want to steal our money. They want to make a crappy movie and it's terrible Don't see it. It's bad. I'm gonna give the boy next door an F awful. It was hilariously bad, but not in an entertaining way. It just got to a point where I had to force myself to be entertained in some way so that I wouldn't feel like walking out, and so I just started laughing at everything. I'm sorry, I was laughing, it was funny, it was dumb, I hate it. That being said, I am very excited to mention that I do have a new segment coming up called Retro Rewind, in which I talk about something from my past that has had an impact on me in some way. I'm really excited to bring it to you because I'm gonna have some awesome celebrity guest appearances that I'm really, really psyched about that I can't even believe. I was just like nerding out as soon as they agreed to take part in it. My first episode is entirely about Toonami, which is the programming block that popularized anime on Cartoon Network in the late 90s in America, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. I'm super excited about it, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. I'm working super hard on it, and I've honestly never had more fun making a video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. Thank you